My friend Carl Rove is back again. Again, uh, Carl, I apologize for the auto problems we had as we wait to hear from the president. Uh, obviously, those countries now, including the Pope, are weighing in on this. I think what they're saying is now is not the time for this. Uh, but, but what do you make of that argument that with everything else going on, this is not a front burner type issue that need be risked now, you say? Well, look, um, uh, first of all, uh, the assemblyman made a passionate case for why this ought to be done. And, and remember, this is a deeply felt sentiment in our country, not only in the Jewish community, but also in the evangelical community, which feels a special kinship with Israel. So there's a, there are a lot of people in America who support this. Uh, and and, and, and uh, you're right, there, there are, are going to be people who always say it's the wrong time. Uh, I'm not worried about Hamas and Hezbollah saying it's the wrong right. time. They are our adversaries, not our allies. But what, what has caused previous presidents to, to, to uh, restrain themselves on this issue has been the input of the Jordanians and the Saudis and other allies in the region. And Israel's attitude, I think, is they're playing the long game. So consolidate uh, the, the, the sense that Jerusalem is the true capital of Israel, backed by the United States uh, in this intimation, and then move on. And, uh, and whether or not it has an impact on the peace process probably does in the short run. Whether it does in the medium term and the long term depends on how adroit the administration is in moving forward on those other issues. But, but this is exactly what each president has, has heard. Each president has heard whether it's from our allies in, in London, our allies in Riyadh, our allies in uh, uh, Jordan, our allies in Istanbul or, or Ankara is please don't do this because it complicates the Mideast process, peace process even further. Other presidents have made a different decision. The assemblyman made a, a, a very strong case as to why this president is different. Uh, we'll see how it all plays out in the in the short run. If there are going to be problems, no ifs, ands, right. or buts no, no, about no, you're this. Right about that. King, We're about King. a minute away from hearing from yeah. the president and Dove Hagen, the New York uh, State Assemblyman, who's joining us, Democrat. Neil, uh, can I just point out sure, something? Go ahead. Neil, as we are speaking, a number of other you know some. Other networks have made a point that there's no other country that has its embassy in Jerusalem. Well, as we are speaking right now, a number of countries, including the Philippines and others in Eastern Europe, are reaching out to Israel saying, we would like to move our embassy to Jerusalem. So that, that's why I'm saying the president of the United States is showing leadership to the rest of the world. And I'm very, very proud today. Carl. Um I look at the market sometimes as like a snap read on things, and defense stocks are moving up. And I don't find it just coincidental um, that they maybe fear, or it's a reflection of a, a, a heightened anxiety, that there could be more trouble in the Middle East as a result of this. What do you think? Uh, I'd, 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 I'd be a little bit reluctant to do that. I think there's an overall security posture, uh, security situation facing the United States that's going to mean, uh, it, whether it's North Korea or whether it's this with maybe instability in the Middle East, or more importantly, I think, is a growing recognition that Congress is going to increase the defense budget. Uh, that's, uh, we're, gonna, we're entering a period of negotiations over the continuing resolution, and one of the big points that the Republicans are making is we are absolutely committed to increasing our defense budget, particularly given the threat that we face around the world. Uh, Assembly, your thoughts on that, that run-up in those stocks? I mean, it's pronounced today, and, and I think, you know, Carl's right. There are certainly other global pressure points, North Korea not the least among them. But do you fear that this could lead to some problems? Real quick. Look, there may be some difficulties, uh, but, you know, All there right. are always difficulties in the Middle East. That's nothing new. Thank you.